Thanks so much, Joe. Well, unfortunately, times are tough these days, and with many people underinsured or able to afford health insurance at all, free events like Dentistry from the Heart are huge help. Dr. Daniel Clower with Mahoney Family Dentistry from South Bend is with us this morning. Thanks for coming in so Thanks early. Thanks for having me. And so the second annual Dentistry from the Heart happened in this Saturday, right? Yes, this Saturday at 6 a.m. You guys expecting a big turnout? Because I know last year you saw more than 215 people, so probably expecting a couple hundred to turn out this week. Yeah, we were, last year we had about 215, and this year we think that could be close to about 250, 300. Now you said you took part in this event last year. Did it kind of make you look at how you do your job or how you go about your job like a little differently than maybe you had in the past? Um, well, community service has always been a big aspect since I started into dentistry and Dr. Mahoney kind of emphasized that um, early on as he started mentoring me and uh, my education uh, is kind of instills that upon us while we're in school. So it's always been a big part, but it's nice. We have a unique set of skills, so we're in a nice position to give back. Good. And so what, uh, for people who may not have taken part in this last year, don't know too much about it, what kind of work can they have done on Saturday? So on Saturday, we try to treat as many people as we can. And so um, we will be offering one filling, one extraction, or one cleaning for each patient. That way we can reach the most amount of people in one day. Okay. And it's, but it's just for adults, right? Yeah, just for adults 18 and over. In February, a lot of local dentists have uh, Give Kids a Smile. So okay. there's a day in February that will be offered to kids. Right. And um, so you said registration starts 6 o'clock? Yeah, early. 6 a.m. we'll have nurses and medical staff there to take medical histories and we'll start treating patients as soon as they get through the triage. So last year I got there at 5 a.m. and there was about 